I'd better leave the crevice closed for now. Damn it. High tide has come in. The entire beach is already flooded. I'm a good swimmer, but trying to find my way out of here between the sharp-edged rocks would be lethal. I need to find another way out, and fast. The water is getting higher and higher and the cave will soon be flooded too. Okay then, I have absolutely no idea whether this opening will take me outside, but it's not like I have a choice. Shit, the cave is already starting to flood! Saved. At least, I thought I was. The guys that rescued me were my competitors and worked for the Japanese art collector Yakamoto. They were professional treasure hunters just like me. The only difference, these guys were ruthless. They just kept on interrogating me until I led them right to Excalibur's hiding place. And how did they choose to thank me? They left me here in a shed, bang in the middle of the Breton Forest, together with a fistful of dynamite and a ticking timer. Never trust a treasure hunter. Just ten more seconds and then my time is up. Surprise, Preston Sterling. Surprise doesn't even come close. God, I've never been so happy to see you. To be honest, I actually stood by the door for a while and wondered if I should really save you. You certainly deserve to be blown into pieces, you bastard! I'm still really sorry about what happened in Spain. But business is business. You know that, right? Of course I do. That's why I'm offering you a deal. You see, I know that you're looking for Excalibur. If you let me help you, you can still beat Yakamoto's agents and get your hands on the sword first. And what do you get out of it? Half the reward, of course. Half of it? Oh, go on then. It's not like I've got any other choice. Before we get started, how did you know where I was? We work for the same client. What? Omega sent you? He's a man who likes to play it safe. I'm your backup, if you like. Wow. I guess he really doesn't trust me nearly as much as he made out. Don't take it personally. All he cares about is the sword. He's been looking for it for half his life. You have to understand that for him, it's more than just some old, long-lost artifact. Do you know more about it, then? No. I certainly don't believe in tales of absolute power and never getting injured, if that's what you mean. I think if it really exists, it would bring its owner a pretty huge pile of dough. Okay, then. Let's get going and secure our reward. Where do we need to look? Come with me. What makes you so sure that Excalibur is hidden here? Arthur wanted the sword to be returned to the Lady of the Lake. Legend has it that it was her who gave it to him in the first place. This lake is known as the Fairy's Mirror and is the largest body of water in the region. 
I'm sure that this is exactly where Merlin chose to hide Excalibur. And you really believe that we can still find the sword down there after so many centuries? Merlin didn't just throw it into the water. There's a special hiding place right at the bottom of the lake where the sword could remain undamaged. The problem is Yakamoto's guys are already underwater. Yes, but that means that this time I can be... The experiences that I've been through with this woman could probably fill an entire book, if not more. We offer the whole spectrum from crime stories through to thrillers, tales of adventure, and even the odd romantic episode here and there. We've been apart for nearly a year now though, but who knows, maybe this job will change things again. It's hard to believe that this small, idyllic lake is allegedly home to one of the most famous artifacts in English mythology. But all of the clues and traces led precisely to this location. All I need now is a diving mask and an oxygen tank, and then I can dive down and take a look. If I can get this diesel generator to work, I'll have some power out here. I'll put the compressor over here and plug the power cable into the generator. Start. The problem is virtually always a lack of fuel, so that should be easy enough to solve. Although the generator is now producing plenty of electricity, the compressor still isn't working. Something must still be broken. 
Oh, man. I'm not exactly an electrician, but these fuses don't all seem to be in the right place. Now I can finally fill the tank back up with breathable air. Thankfully, the visibility down here isn't that bad. It gives me a chance to actually find something. I have to be careful not to be discovered by Yakamoto's guys, though.
It's insane. It must be the entrance to a hiding place at the bottom of the lake. I need to quickly find a way in while Yakamoto's men are still looking elsewhere. Well, well, what do we have here? Roman numerals from 1 to 9. Hmm. It might be a magic square. In that case, all I need to do is to arrange the individual fields so that all rows, columns, and the two diagonals add up to the same amount. I think 15 is the number I'm looking for here. Hallelujah. I considered plenty of different outcomes, but this goes way beyond anything I could ever have imagined. It really is the perfect hiding place for Excalibur. Nicely done, Merlin. The old lad certainly outdid himself with this one. <laughs>